Hello, this is Chef here at Sun Valley Auto Club. I got Jeff helping me out today. We're taking a close look at this 1994 Dodge Viper. This is a first gen Viper. It's a two owner Idaho car through and through. First uh, owned here in the Wood River Valley. Second owner uh, took it over to Boise and then uh, it's back here to be sold. So looking for its third owner. This one's in great shape, low, low miles. This one's been garage kept. 13,090 miles, uh, a couple more after this test drive, but super low miles, uh, just freshly uh, serviced, synthetic uh, oil on that, tires are new, this thing is absolutely ready for the road, uh, you can use it as a, a collectible or just put some miles on it and have a lot of fun. I've driven it, uh, great highway manners, tons of power, I mean, you know what a Viper is, so let's just get into the condition of this one. As uh, mentioned, it has been garage kept. It's free from any uh, accidents. There's no uh, damage on it, door dings, etc. I think we've all seen cars that have been in garages, and uh, doesn't mean that uh, you know another car door, or kids' bikes, or. <laughs> working it daily. This one was definitely collector owned. Um, this one came out of a collection. Actually a couple other cars right behind it. That 63 Cadillac Ritz and that uh, uh, one of 14 77 Excaliburs. Um, both of those he restored as well. So this Viper is definitely owned by a true car guy and he is just thinning out his collection. So in preparation for sale, um, yeah, anything that need to be done, such as tires, yeah, let's put them on. Those are big fatty Michelins, 335s in the back, 335, 35 R17s, and those are ZR rated tires. So that's brand new. This is a, uh, a Viper that doesn't have a, a list of needs and wants. It's well sorted. We do have a video showing all of its, uh, uh, like weather equipment such as the back window, the drop-in windows, and the top. So I probably already sent that to you. Make sure you watch that. If you've emailed me, if you want to call me, um, I'll send that on as well. But all that factory equipment has been kept um, in its original factory bags and it's in excellent condition. So, and most of that fits right back in here. Here's your uh, factory spare, well-sorted car. Easy to, uh, easy to drive, does have the, I should, I think it's kind of obvious, but it does have the uh, uh, 8.0, and then the, of course the manual transmission. Miles on that, just a little over 13,000. First gens are a ton of fun. Definitely built to be uh, a lightweight car, and that's why you've got no external handles. It's just internal handles only. That was a weight saving uh, option there that the factory used, as well as the top windows, etc. So as it sits right now, it's probably, hey, if it's not a nice sunny day, why take it out? But if you do need the top, if you're at a car show or something, you've got it and you can protect your interior. Speaking of the interior, the bolsters are in really good shape. Um, both owners are smaller statured uh, guys, so your bolsters are in good shape. All your stitching is in good shape. The leather is not blown. Your center console, the plastic's not cracked. All your gauges are bright. Let me jump in there real quick. Yeah, all your touch surfaces. You know, there's your six speed, all your leather stitching's in good shape, your buttons, gauges, all still look just brand new. The dash is uncracked. And those snaps right up there are for your tonneau cover. That's another we do have that as well tonneau covers back there in that pile so that way if you're out and about 
Um, the top is not going to fit in the trunk. The side windows do, but you can always keep that little tonneau cover around. And if you just want leaves out of there, or you don't want your seats sunbaked, you can always just snap in your your tonneau cover. We'll take a look at the engine, and then uh, we'll go have some fun. So you do have two different releases. If I can do this cleanly, it'll be a miracle, but we'll give it a try. So the first release, I can't remember if it's down so under the lower one, straight back. Then you have a secondary and you push it forward, but you have to kind of push down a little bit. And that releases it. And then we just gently bring this up. And we'll just take a listen to that engine here. settings. Original radio is in there as well. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon.